Hello everyone, I am Rameshwar and today we will discuss about one of the important platform rather than the concept and the platform named as Food Safety and Compliance System that is FOSCOS. Before moving ahead, let me remind you, we already covered the concepts or the topics like Food Safety Mitra, different milestones for Food Safety and Standard Authority of India for Food Safety and Standard Act 2006, different rules and regulations therein. Apart from that, we also covered different sections in the Act of 2006, FSSA, and the main syllabus for the exam of Central Food Safety Officer, Technical Officer and Assistant Director. Friends, if you miss any of this, then link is given in the I button. You could follow the same. So friend, in today's session, we try to cover all detailed information regarding the Food Safety and Compliance System. It is launched by the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India on June 2020. So we could call it, it is one of the recent concept. And from that perspective, those who are qualified for the mains examination of FSO, or technical officer and assistant director so from that point of view it is one of the recent concept and it is definitely useful to them so now move back to the concept friends since 2012 FLRS that is food licensing and registration system is one of the essence or is one of the apex body for registration and licensing from the authority point of view friends food licensing and registration system is applicable throughout the India and there are 70 lakh registration or licenses approved under it. Again, 35 lakh are actively transacted on it. In 2020, FLRS is replaced by another platform and the platform named as FOSCOS, that is Food Safety and Compliance System in the year 2020. Friends, there are Friends. certain problems with consent to the FLRS system which was initially used till the year 2020. And the problems are like it has outdated system apart from that it also consists of poor or we could say low technical expertise and somewhat low networking system and further increment in addition or further innovations could not be possible in terms of FLRS. So from that point of view FLRS is renamed or replaced by the food safety and compliance system. So here the main aim behind the compliance system is that to provide a one point stop for different types of food business operator with consent to the regulatory system. Here, food safety and compliance system act as an umbrella system, which is an integrated part of the different tools or we could say different inter information technology tools of the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India and the tools mainly used as food safety compliance through regular inspection and sampling Foscoris, food safety, collect complaints management system, online annual platforms, food import clearance system that is FICS, Indian Food Laboratory Network that is Inflonet, audit management system AMS, adjudications and penalties, food safety and training certification that is FOSTEC and food safety mitra that is FSM. Foscoris that is food safety compliance through regular inspection and sampling it is actually an app that will capture outside inspection carried out by different food safety officer as per the inspection checklist and which could ensure the periodic inspection of different food businesses on a regular basis friends now we move toward how the system is actually launched the system or the food safety and compliance system is launched in certain phases and the first phase is launched on June 2020 with nine different types of states or territories are included in it and these are Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Goa, Delhi, Odisha, Manipur, Chandigarh, Puducherry and Ladakh. They have been selected. So with the help of that we could say that first phase of Compliance system is regulated on 2020. We should have one thing more to say. In the states or UTs, the system we have put here, that is the food safety and compliance system, we have put here. In those states, we will get some registration and licenses. So, rather than the FLRS, they directly move towards the 
FOSS course and the website is this one and the integration with consent to the phase is continued till the time of unified platform throughout the India for all the states where the system is or the phase of food safety and compliance system is already implemented or will be soon in that states here digital mitra plays an important role with consent to the registration or licenses for the businesses or for the food business operator point of view apart from that the different type of new or modern technologies are used and utilized in the compliance system and these are mainly sample management improvement notice or the certain technologies such as gps location tagging picture capture and rfid these can be utilized in future to ensure transparent and accountable extension field services such as inspection and sampling friends not just this apart from that the fosco system could be an integration with the different government platforms and these could be like gst pan or many more and here main future is to get the 360 degree profile of the fosco system for so that business could be validated for a longer period friends during the initial phase foscos will offer registration licensing apart from that they are also there with consent to the annual returns and inspection of the business the flow system with consent to the foscos is similar with consent to the flrs that is food licensing and registration system so it could be easy for anyone to migrate from flrs to the foscos and friends the system of foscos is typically with consent to the specialized product here keep in mind one thing also that the foscos is the new approach and is only meant for the manufacturer of standardized food products for manufacturers in case of non specified food supplements nutraceutical proprietary food and substances added to the food and approaches continued as in the same of the food licensing and registration system during the initial days a people or a person can access their information their applications or registrations available on the flrs but it is only for the viewing purpose and also keep in mind one thing that you don't have to do anything immediately when you migrate from flrs to the foscos when you are on the system of foscos that is a food safety and compliance system yahan pe aapko immediately kuch bhi nahi karna hai only you have to rectify the different types of information you have provided aapko khali jo information aapko provide ki hai aapne khud ne wo information aapko check karna hai usko correct karna hai uske alawa कुछ भी इमीडिएटली आपको यहाँ पे नहीं करना है बिकॉज द टाइम गिवन टू कॉम्प्लाइन द सिस्टम टिल द एंड ऑफ डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो हियर कीप इन माइंड वन थिंग दैट ऑल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग होल्डर्स विच आर वैलिड अंडर एफ एस एस ए आई लाइसेंस शल बी नीडेड टू मॉडिफाइड दियर लाइसेंस टू चूज फ्रॉम द अवेलेबल लिस्ट ऑफ स्टैंडर्डाइज प्रोडक्ट्स बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर apart from it what are the different types of tests a person or an individual or food business operator shall take when he is migrate from the flrs system to the foscos platform all steps are there available on the both website that is foscos on flrs here food authority already given the directions for states or union territories with concern to the different types of officers who are working there and food business operator for smooth transition from flrs to the food safety and compliance system to know the system in a better manner food safety authority already conducted different types of trainings and different seminars so that anyone could be well acquainted with the food safety and compliance system apart from that they are already providing user manual on the both system that is it is available on the website of flrs and also the website of first course which is given here friends and the whole information is given in the description itself a link is there where you got all the information friends here i want to clarify one more thing that is the basic difference between registration state license and central license because these are important from the basic concept point of view with consent to the registration anyone could apply for the purpose of registration with his or her own capability if we are talking about the registration friends the fees for the registration is rupees 100 per year and it requires only three documents 
your photo, ID proof and declaration. Only these three documents are required for the registration purpose. And generally, the registration is granted within a period of seven days or if suppose the authority needs an inspection of your site, then the inspection could be completed within the 30 days of your application date. So from that point of view, registration could be very easy and you got the registration number from the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. With consent to the registration, the annual turnover should not be more than 12 lakh rupees per annum. So keep in mind this point. With consent to the state license, any food business operator engaged his activity in a single state with an annual turnover less than rupees 20 crore. Then he go for the state license with an annual fees of rupees 2000 to rupees 5000 per year. And with consent to the central license, a person engaged his activity two or more than two states and with an annual turnover of rupees 20 crore or more then he opt for the central license. Also keep in mind, if suppose your premise is located at airport or seaport, then definitely you could go for the purpose of central license with a fees of rupees 7500 per year. The duration of validity for registration or license is for 5 years and also keep in mind one thing that there is no provision of renew of the license or registration after its expiry. Friends, here I have another thing to know that how to know the product category or the identification category of the product. Here we can know how to know that the product is under registration or it is under the license one. So, I will tell you a simple trick for this. The digit number or the digit of license or registration is of 14 in number. It is the 14th digit number. And according to that, if suppose the product is having license, then it starts by means of number 1. And if suppose, the food business operator got registration then the license start with number two and the first three digit number on any central license is generally like one zero zero so from this point of view you can identify which are the things or which are the products under the registration category or which are the products under the license category like this way friends here one question may arise you on your mindset that who could act as a consultant or facilitator for you or for the business. So from this perspective, I already described the concept of food safety mitra under the food authority. So here food safety mitra plays a big role and the person supplies you or the person assists you by means of filling up the application forms, registration, licensing. Apart from that, they provide you certain provide provisions like training, hygiene rating and different types of facilities also. Friends, I think the whole session is imperative to you and useful to you. And here I am recalling the different types of concepts which are already discussed with you in a short nutshell. And the first concept is the launching of the first course that is food safety and compliance system. Here keep in mind one thing, FLRS is replaced by the first course from the year 2020 and in the first phase of launching by the food authority nine states or different union territories are there applying for the first course again here main aim of the first course is to provide all supportive activities under one platform to the different food business operator and the second and the second important concept is that the basic difference between the registration, state licensing and central licensing. With consent to the registration purpose, any individual or food business operator go for the purpose of registration and it requires just three documents, photo, ID proof and his own declaration and the annual turnover should be less than rupees 12 lakh from the concern with a fee of rupees 100 annually. For the state license, if suppose a food business operator operating his own access in the one state only with a turnover of less than rupees 20 crore then he could avail the facility of state license and with consent to the central license if any food business operator accessing in two or more than two states or certain premises like seaport airport then he could avail the central license with consent to the fees of rupees 7500 per annum and if suppose you are applying or if suppose you are not in the phase of 
applying for the registration but it simply means that if suppose your annual turnover is more than rupees 12 lakh and if you are not applied for the purpose of license then you are doing the offense under section number 63 it clearly means that business conducting without license so if your turnover is more than rupees 12 lakh directly go for the purpose of license that is the state license one friends i think the whole session is imperative to you friends if it's your first time on my channel then don't forget to click on like and subscribe button and hit on the bell icon if if you have any idea or more idea about the subject then you could definitely text me in the comment section i will try to cover out the same that's all for today's session thank you